Yo, 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 what's going on? What's going on? Look at this, look at this, speed this, speed this. Traders, 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 traders. And that's exactly what Forex is. When you do Forex, you can still get your money instantly. You can still use it. You can still cash out anytime you want. No one takes the money away from you. You still have control of your money. But it allows you to turn your money into more money. So even if you only have $100, if you make 10%, it's still $10, $3. It's still free gas. Like, you have no reason to not make money from your money. Yeah. This week we've been focusing on the USD, on the USD JPY. You have only taken USD JPY trades. Last week was the was for the USD card, and the other week was for Euro USD. Yeah, I don't hide nothing. Look at this Euro USD. I took losses, but it is what it is. It's not how you start; it's how you finish. Let me get right into this breakdown here because I don't want to waste any of your time. But look at this, yo 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 yo. <laughs> Energy is just so high, you feel me? I hope you're feeling it, but let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Yeah, I hope you guys had a nice week. Today's a Friday, yeah. So, what's the day today? Today's 16th, so it, I even don't know the date, man. Yeah, this, this prophecy have got me so high right now, I even forgot in the date. Yeah, guys, remember that we took this account from $68 and look at where it is, look at where it is. I think it's now what nine days now, right? It's now nine days since we started this challenge, yeah. And we are still taking this account all the way. So if you've been around, thank you for being there. And it's a whale account, bro. Whale account. We don't trade no demos, man. We don't trade no demos here, man. No demos. Take the demos here. No, no, no demos here. Let's go. So let's go. Let me let me show you guys what I did to get these sniper entries the stop loss and the tech profits yeah we make you we're making a honey each and every day 89 dollars 89 dollars up yeah so i won't waste any of your time let's go yeah so basically this is what this is what is happening right remember last time um uh, i think for wednesday yeah for the wednesday that, that last video we took these sell trades here and we banked 70 pips on on those actual um yeah that's 70 pips no 150 pips that's 150 pips let me check uh you usd jpy 30 34 35 32 36 yeah it was 150 pips 150 pips right so we called all this yeah so when price came back to this area i was like all right yeah right now this moving averages won't be of use because it's a consolidation right so what we have to do price is making lower lows and lower highs lower lows and lower highs lower low and lower highs so what i did i said that uh since price look at what happened here when price made this lower low and lower high it consolidated here right but was respecting this key level here and when it respected this key level we expected it pretty, pretty much multiple times the first second third and fourth yeah and for the and whenever price was coming to this key level here, it was just bouncing off like crazy. As you've seen this push phase here. So I'm like, okay, that must that must be like the same behavior it's kind of doing right now. As you can see, the first time bounced off heavily. Second time, massive bounce. This candle here, this four-hour candle had no week. This four-hour candle here and had no week. Yeah, to the top. Had no week to the top. It just went straight, straight to the downside. Yeah, and what happened? The fourth time, actually, the third time. The first, the third time I saw this week rejection here. This huge week rejection here. Yeah, this shows a depletion, right? That that the buyers have depleted. That, that the the pressure of the buyers has decreased, right? Their momentum has decreased as as the, the week. Is way longer than the bodies yeah then you have this indecision here and the momentum shift to the downside so what I did I wasn't sure whether this was still going to downside because when look at this candle here it was long up to down this other side yeah but look at where it went back and closed up there so I couldn't enter because I was still because these are like buyers this candle was right up to down this side but these are like buyers taking it all back so I thought maybe it's going to push fast to the upside so i waited i was like nah 
let me wait for one more four hour candle to close so this is the value of patience guys you will have to be patient in this game so this other candle here closed where is it this one here this four hour candle here closed at around 11 a.m 11 a.m ugandan time that's one hour past past london open yeah one hour past london open it closed our like nah there's no way the thing is going back to the upside because we already have a three pin bar formation right the first second and the momentum candle they are like hell nah the thing is not going back to the upside so after this close i just entered my trades right away and i put my stop loss right above the week yeah yeah if i'm wrong i'm wrong but look at what happened here so after that look at this when this closed of course, I, I, just don't, I, don't, I just don't enter my trades blindly. I went to the 4-hour time, the 1-hour time frame. So by the help of these EMAs, I was like, let me first wait for the EMAs to also cross, right? So we have this push, this push, lower, low, lower, high. Then look at this consolidation here. I was like, ha. Huh. Remember, whenever there's a consolidation here, price can either break out to the upside or to the downside. So I was like, let me wait for it. So this EMAs crossed, yeah? Right after they crossed there, I would like them wait for it, for them to expand. Then, pardon. Then after they cross, I just waited for like some some fifteen minutes. I was like, ah, it's time to end. I just enter right there and look at what happened. Boom! This kind of just went to the downside, came back for a retest, but I'm like, nah, nah, I'm safe because my stop loss is above structure. So that means if if I'm taken out. This thing should continue to the upside, but if I'm right, we should just roll it to the downside. Look at what happened here. Price just rallied. Price just rallied. This is the power of, of technical analysis. Yeah, look at all this. Yeah, here they are already giving us the confirmation from up top this side. Yeah, from this double top. Yeah, price crossed up top this side. But I like using the one hour time frame for the EMA crossover because it's more solid than a one hour time frame, right? It's more solid, gives you mob confidence that this is actually going to your side. Yeah. So let's close some positions. I can't leave you without closing positions, guys. Yeah. We have to close these positions. We have to close some of these positions. Yeah. But as you're doing that, please keep on subscribing. Please keep on subscribing because you all need this content. Yeah, let's let's make 500 today. Yeah, let's take it to 500 today. Mm. I don't want to finish everything. So I think uh I think I'll leave I'll, I think I'll leave some to run. I'll leave two positions in here. I'll leave two positions. I'll leave two positions. I'll leave two positions. One with the TP and one with the TP. So I expect it to bounce off this trend and I go back to the upside. But by then I would have put my stop loss to break even. Oh, it should just roll it to the downside there and make more peeps. So thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for being here. You know, make sure you subscribe. Subscribe. Five hundred dollars. Let's go. So how much did you make today? Seventy-two. That's alright. That's alright.